Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saving Sunderland. Now in today's episode we have of course got our Champions League semi-final two legs against Manchester United. We'll check the fixtures that you've missed since last time. So the last time we met was of course the 3-0 victory against Bayern Munich. We followed that up with the 2-0 victory against Crystal Palace. We were fortunate in this game because whilst we did have a lot of chances we were we were completely missing a lot of them, but a goal through Oscar Pfeiffer and Rickson got us the 2-0 victory. Giuseppe Pazella, on one of his returns to us from after we sold him in the last summer, got himself sent off, so that made it a comfortable last half hour. Then we had another home tie against Bournemouth. We won this one 5-2. Goals from Moyes Kane, a double from Lincoln, one from Michael Althans and Dimitar Alexandrov give us the victory. Two goals from Adalberto Penaranda made for a nervy last 15-20 minutes. They brought it back to 4-2 but then we we'll completely kill the game with an 87th minute goal through Lincoln. And that leaves the table sitting like this. We are two points behind Manchester United with two games remaining. And we know from last time when we checked the fixtures, they've got two relatively easy games. So it's unlikely that we are going to win the, uh, the Premier League this season. But of course, we can take away their chance to win the Champions League if we can just beat them in these two semi-final legs. And this is the side that's going to go up against Manchester United in the first leg. Haller in goal, Pfeiffer, Rios and Diaz at centre-back, Lerola right wing-back, Malagres left wing-back, Phil Foden and Tangai on Endombelia in the centre with Cabrera on the right, Moise Keane on the left and Sugo up top. So we'll kick off against Manchester United, the first half of our Champions League semi-final. We are shooting from right to left. So Manchester United have started with a 4-5-1 formation. They are a very defensively solid they always have been against us which is why I'm a little bit disappointed that we are at home in the first leg I'd have rather have been at away in the first leg knowing that we had the home leg to come back to but we pick up this highlight with Dybala high up the pitch he's on his own he's going to take the long strike but Halla collects comfortably it's been a dull dull first half and this is going to spell the half time whistle Sutherland nil, Manchester United nil. Disappointing to not even create a highlight worthy chance, but we'll have to send the boys back out and hope they can do better this second half. Highlight now Alaba has got a free kick on the right hand side from Manchester United. Martial's on the edge, plays it to Fred, finds Dybala, who, well, that was the worst highlight ever. 10 minutes remaining in this match, nothing is happening whatsoever. We're going to make some changes. We're going to get Phil Fodden off for Harley Johnson. We're going to get. Moyes Keane off for Luis Enrique Aranz. I'm going to get Enzo Cabrera off for Dimitar Alexandrov. Highlight now, Alexandrov on this right-hand side, but David De Gea claims the cross. Kelson Martins has it on his right-hand side for Manchester United. Finds Kessie, who finds Fred in the left-hand flank. Fosu Mensa back to Frank Kessie. Kelson Martins now back to Kessie. They are playing it about lovely. We're not closing our men down. We're not nicking in and getting the ball. Anthony Martial with a strike from range. I think that's going to probably be it for the match because... We have not created anything. They haven't really created anything either. It's just been an ultimate stalemate. And now we've got to go to Old Trafford knowing that we cannot get beat. And that's it. 0-0 against Manchester United. The dullest game of the season so far. We've been super clinical in front of goal this season. We're the highest scorers in the league. Both Manchester United have got a system in place where they can just nullify our threat. We do have Chelsea in between the two semi-final legs, so I will, of course, bring you the result from that as it comes in. So we've just played Chelsea in the Premier League. That is now the Premier League title race over. Manchester United won their game, and we've just been beat 3-2 by Chelsea. Two goals from Casemiro and one from Deshaun Redan secured the victory for them. Phil Foden and Tangai and Dombelia couldn't get us back into the match. Disappointing to lose the league. Um... There was points at this campaign where we were top and we had a little bit of a gap, but consistency is key in the Premier League and we didn't have it. We drew far too many games. I think we've still lost less than Manchester United have. We've just drew a lot more. Um, so that's something we're going to have to work on next season. And now they're going to probably put us out in the Champions League, which is infuriating. Right, we're here. It's Manchester United in the second leg of the semi-final of the Champions League. We are out of the Premier League title race. So this is all we've got to play for. So we're going to start with Haller in goal, Pfeiffer, Rios and Diaz at centre-back. Althans and Malagres, our wing-backs. Phil Fodlan and Dombelia in the centre. Alexandrov on the right, Moyes Keane on the left. And Lincoln's going to get the nod up top. Manchester United have changed their formation from the first leg. They are playing 4-4-2. We all know what we did to Bayern Munich, but I've got the feeling that Manchester United are a completely different beast in this game. 
So we kick off against Manchester United shooting from left to right, knowing that either a score draw or a victory would send us through. Highlight now, we have the ball on the middle of the halfway line, and on Bellier spreads the ball lovely to Althans, who finds Alexandrov in the centre, and he gets the goal, he beats David De Gea at his near post. Come on, boys, come on! As we can see here, Lincoln plays the ball to Endon Bellier. Excellent, excellent pass here from Endon Bellier. Brilliant. Althans gets the ball in the box. Alexandrov, David De Gea will be embarrassed by that, and I'm glad because he's been a tormentor of us for years. Another highlight, Matteo Rios, he plays that Althans. Finds Phil Foden in the centre. Plays it wide, wide Alexandrov who gives it away. The ball falls to Pfeiffer at the back. Can we build again? We can't. Fred challenges Phil Foden. This could be a break for Manchester United. Dybala beats both our men and manages to get the goal. He makes up 1-1. That was really disappointing. As you can see here, Phil Foden gets fouled by Fred. How was that not a free kick? How? That should definitely have been a free kick. Dybala though dances through our defence. We've got some of the best centre-backs in the world and he just made them look foolish. 1-1. Phil Fodden's picked up an injury, but it's a corner from us. This is going to be another break for Manchester United. Die ball has got on the halfway line. He's dancing through our defence. And he's scored again. Another Manchester United counter and another Paolo Dybala goal. Lindelof just plays at Dybala on the halfway line. He just absolutely destroys us here. Not even any sort of semblance of defence. Easy finish for him. Haller can do anything. 2-1 Man United. This has turned sour very quickly. Highlight Phil Fodden with the knock in the centre. Plays it to Lincoln, who manages to keep hold of the ball to end on Bellier. Tries to play it through for Alexandrov. This is going to be another Manchester United counter. I can just feel it. Anthony Martial now, dancing in from this left-hand side, finds Timo Werner in space. The ball falls to Dybala. It's not offside. It's 3-1 Manchester United. And I believe that will probably seal our fate in this game. They have just destroyed us on the counter. Absolute. It's a tactical masterclass by Jose Mourinho, really. Timo Werner slides in, wins the ball. Dybala just smashes it in. Nothing Halleck can do. 3-1. Another highlight. Malagres tries to play it up to Lincoln. It manages to find him and he keeps the ball. End on Bellier. They are just so, so defensive. They've got... Oh! Lindelof brings down Lincoln in the box and it will be a penalty. Lincoln steps up to take. This could be a lifeline for Sunderland. Come on. Yes, he buries it. 3-2. We're back in the game, but I'm still I'm still deflated. Here's the goal from Lincoln. Straight down the middle. No chance to hear. Another highlight. Lindelof clears for Manchester United from a corner from us. Alexandro files Althans. Plays it back to Pfeiffer. We're keeping the ball well, but Lincoln just gives it away sloppily. And is this going to be another Manchester United counter? The ball foils to Moyes Keane on the left-hand side. Phil Foden now in the centre. Gets cut out by David Alaba. Althans now plays at end on Bellier. Back to Phil Foden. The final ball just been... Fred makes the tack. Oh, Moyes Keane. You've got to be putting them away. We've had our opportunity to go to 3-3, but Moyes Keane fluffs his lines. Half time, a Paolo Dybala hat trick has definitely took the shine off our performance. They had just countered us far too easily. Matteo Rios, one of the best centre backs in the world, is getting absolutely destroyed out there. And we'll kick off this time shooting from right to left. Phil Fodden's really struggling out there, but unfortunately, we don't have a central midfielder on the bench as Harley Johnson got himself injured. Mois Kane finds Endon Bellier to Lincoln. He's got the through ball for Alexandrov. Big safer to hear. Alexandrov now with the corner. Can we make anything of this? Ruben Diaz. Free kick, Man United. Made a couple of changes. We've got Luis Enrique Aranz on for Moise Keane and Malagres off for Kieran Tierney. Highlight now. 20 minutes to go. Can we find the goal? Gelson Martins now to Dybala. He plays a lovely through ball to Timo Werner. Big save, Haller. But it falls back to Timo Werner. And I think that's, that's going to be it now. Gelson Martins, die baller again in tons of space. Excellent through ball. It's a good save from by Haller initially, but falls back from Rios to Timo Werner. Our defence has just been absolutely shocking this game. Shocking. They've probably let us down. We'll make a final change. We'll get Lincoln off for Maximiliano. So we'll go, we'll go overload. We've already changed our tactics to be more attacking, but it hasn't made a blind bit of difference. Three minutes to go. Manchester United with the free kick. And Bellier cuts out a loose pass, but David Alaba can tackle Alexandrov, but he gets beyond him. Can he get a good ball in the box? Sugo to Alexandrov. It's into the box. Phil Fodden scores. 
It's 4-3. There's only two minutes to let, to go. It would take a monumental change in this game for us to get back into it. But Alexandrov here, good work down the right-hand side. Sugo plays it down the outside. Good ball in. Phil Fodden with half a leg hanging off manages to get the goal. And this is going to be the final highlight of the game. Althan punts it up top but there's not a man in sight. Lindelof now with the ball. Take your time lads because you know what's going to happen. They're just wasting time. Gelson Martins beats his man but that's it. 4-3 out of the Champions League in the semi-finals. Manchester United have won the league and they've knocked us out of the Champions League. Matteo Rios on a 6. Oscar Pfeiffer 6.4. Ruben Diaz 6.5. Tangoy and Dombele 6.3. Them are the boys that's let us down today. Particularly Matteo Rios. He got done a number of times. He's still a young lad. He's still got room to improve. But these are the big occasions where you need your best players to stand up and be counted. And I was haven't done it today at all. Well, it's going to be a Juventus Manchester United Champions League final. I hope Juventus are the best because I'm absolutely sick of Manchester United. I've sort of made the decision now in my head. I'm going to go big in the summer. We've got 230 million to spend. And I wouldn't put too much against us actually spending it this year. So looking forward to the next episode. I will bring you the last game against Liverpool, which will be the decider as to who finishes second. If Liverpool can beat us, they will. If we can get a draw or a victory, we will finish second in the league. But here, yeah, Champions League football for next season, a healthy transfer budget. We're going to make big changes. Manchester United, forever the tormentors. Um, it's going to take some good work from us in the summer to be able to basically get them off their throne. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like. And if you enjoy my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy. <laughs>